Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? This is Herbie from LifeIsATrucker.com. I saw a post the other day that was talking about, you know, screw what you know and forget how you do your job. What is important is who you know. Who you know. So the question is, what's more important? Who you know, what you know, or your job performance? That is the question. Here is the answer. <laughs> All you have to do really is step back and look at the big picture. And I'm going to try to present the big picture. Um, an argument can be made forever that each are equally important. Likewise, any person can choose to only point out one or the other and ignore the significance of the others. You know... If you take my course, you will see that I point out it is important to network, meet other people. Um, a lot of things get done that way. However, and I'm addressing it this way because uh, the video I saw was saying that who you know is the thing that matters. And uh, who you know is important. But like I said, everything is integrated. Whoa, I dropped the phone, y'all. Everything is interconnected. And so, who you know doesn't just take... Um... <laughs> just watch it and see how that was going to turn out. Two trucks pulling off. Two trucks pulling off at the same time. Looked like they was competing for... Um... Lead, leading the pack or something but anyway yeah so what happens is you know even if you know a key person you know someone who can put you on you know someone who can recommend you you know someone who could uh, get you in the door you know someone who could put you in position think about it why would that person unless it's an idiot an idiot why would that person vouch for you if they did not first know enough about you to feel comfortable making that recommendation or putting you in that position or giving you the opportunity? You see what I'm saying? So in other words, if no matter who it is that you know, again, unless that person is an idiot, no matter who it is that you know, if that person also knows that you're a you are a clown or don't care how you perform your job or don't care about your attitude if that person knows that you are a low quality individual or whatever or you can say it that way or lack personal responsibility or lack um, a pleasant attitude that person is not going to recommend you. That person is not going to put you in position. That person is not going to look out for you. So although who you know is important, still, first, your attitude has to be right. Um, your job performance has to be up to par or unknown. But if you don't care about how you do your job and then somebody mess around and put you in position, then you're going to blow the opportunity. And then, is that person going to look out for you again the next time? Not unless, he, not unless he or she is an idiot. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, who you know is important. You should be making connections. You should be meeting people. You should be part of groups that's relevant to whatever your interest is or um, something that's connected to your goals and and all of that. But um, you have to take serious your attitude you have to take serious your job performance you have to take that serious and the person also said you know screw all that that doesn't matter how you perform you can't say that I mean if you if that's your attitude toward your work ethic then you're gonna blow every opportunity you get so I just wanted to put that out there guys you might hear I'm, I'm, I, I promise you 
you will hear a lot of truck drivers promote that attitude. I don't care. I don't give. It doesn't matter what time you show up. This, that, the other. And then the other, another part of it is you shouldn't have to kiss nobody's butt. And this, that, and the other. There's a difference in kissing somebody's butt and being a team player and performing your job well. All of those are totally different things. Um, but also looking out for each other and doing favors. You know, there's a fine line depending on what the situation is and depending on how far you're reaching. But that's up to you to figure that out. Uh, just think about one of the things you can do is role reversal. And another thing that you can do is look at the bigger picture of how an organization operates or how a business operates. You can't get everything you want and completely disregard what the other person needs if y'all supposed to be a team player you see what I'm saying so if you want somebody to look out for you sometimes then there's going to be times that you are going to make a sacrifice this is called relationships whether it's personal or business there's going to be times that you might want to look out for the other person especially okay in this situation in order for you to look out it might totally put you off, put you behind, put it, put you at an inconvenience. But there might be times that you can look out for your team player, your co-worker, your dispatcher, your driving manager, whoever that is. There might be times where you can take that load or what, or you can move that trailer or whatever. There might be times that you can look out for the person and it is no significant impact on you, but at the same time, it makes a huge difference for that person. Now you might call it kissing butt, I call it building a strong relationship. It depends on, again, what the situation is, but to buy into this whole mentality that I ain't doing nothing for you. Every single thing I do, you you need to pay me. You know, I ain't doing no favors. You don't do no favors with me. Well, if you start off that way, where does it lead? You see what I'm saying? You don't, you're not building a relationship like that. You, Everybody's out for self, and it's like a, a power struggle. So I just want you to think about that and um, look at things in a, a more cooperative, teamwork type way and relationship building type way. And don't allow these people to put in your mind that if you ever do a favor, this, that, the other, then it's kissing butt. Or if you, are, you have the ability to look at the bigger picture and because you are the type of person that, that does things you know uh, at certain times um, just because you're that type of person it doesn't reflect bad or negatively on you now like I said you know you have to judge all these things uh, sometimes from a bird's eye view and look at the bigger picture at the same time you don't want to be taken advantage of at the same time you got to look at the person that you're dealing with what is their mentality what is their personality what is the, um, the way in which they operate you know are they going to take a clue from this and then use it uh, to their advantage and women will do that too the nice guy syndrome you know what I'm saying nice guy finish last well you have to have some standards you have to have priorities I mean I've been in a situation this was a long time ago you might not even be able to do it now but I've been uh, in a place and I move a trailer for somebody. I ain't asked for money. I just moved it. The trailer needed to be moved. Um, and I was there and I had free time and I wasn't doing anything. As opposed to the person having to go through some long bureaucratical process and get the trailer moved. And by moving the trailer, then I'm able to get a whole lot of other stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Like get to this dock door. There's only a limited number of dock doors. And I can get to this dock door if I move this trail out of the way.